I realize now that I am the one leading me through this. My words are the ones that have the wisdom in them. I didn't understand before that the voices of the angels were speaking through me because it sounded like my own voice. But now I know the truth. My moon is the theme of my life, and I know what to do with it. The waxing crescent, the leader. Even if I didn't think I had those abilities before, I know I have them now. I embarked on the quest. Unspeakable bliss was before me, and I said yes to it. The memory, as deep as the Marianas Trench, was about to unfold to me. The femininity that intimidated me, so much so, it was like a death a wave of death chills down my back. I filled her space. That mermaid, I am her. There's nothing to fear now. And being overlooked, I realized the choice was to look at me. It was for me to look at me. That's why I saw others looking away from me because I too was looking away from me. But now I, I know. And the last thing, now I know I'm being given the gift that I have the ability to channel the higher truths for my own self, so I don't have to look to outside sources anymore. And the vulnerability that I was so afraid of, I now know it's about me letting me in. I found that I was the truth I was looking for. I found that this thing I was looking for through past lovers <laughs> was so silly because the most gratifying thing I could have felt was when I realized it's me. I'm the one who gave permission to let me in. I'm the one who said, I can receive my higher truths. I'm the one doting over me. I'm the one who filled the most scary space. And I'm the one who chose to embark on the rightful path. And so it's, and so it is.